Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video. I'm gonna do something different. Yup, I'm gonna do a review. I'm gonna review Pets Pet Simulator X. Now, Pet Simulator X isn't the first Pet Simulator game. There were two others before it. The first game had a lot of content, but kind of got stale. The sequel attempted to improve, but got stale and was terrible, which got discontinued pretty damn quick. But Pet Simulator X seems to be the long lost cousin of Pet Simulator 2. It was the Pet Simulator game we needed. It combines both of the games, and even after big games did spin offs such as Big Paintball and My Restaurant, it seems big games are starting to promise and get back to their roots, the roots of a similar game. Pet Simulator X is pretty good. In the game, what you do is get pets to open up new areas. It was something that the previous two games did, although at a lower scale because, well, there wasn't that much production back then. But Pet Simulator X is pretty good. Pet Simulator X goes back to the Pet Simulator 1 style with all the worlds being connected. Each area is connected to each other, which I find kind of cool. It's not like the second game where each area is divided via cannon. That was dumb. And also, I think that the game passes the player gets is kind of good. The game passes are okay. Hoverboard allows players to go fast, which is good. Teleporter allows players to pretty much fast travel, which is good. VIP is just your standard pricey, pricey, snobby, rich VIP game pass. Egg opening skip, if you want to skip egg opening cutscenes. Pet storage. And super pet storage, and you want to buy both of these, that's 500 Robux in total for 600 pet storage. You also have triple eggs and eight pets equipped, which I see a few people have. There's also exclusive pets, and wow, are these cool. Really, they have to do the pink fish meme. 15 pets equipped. This is a limited time, so, okay. The game is pretty good, and Big Games is much more generous than Pet Simulator X. In Big Games' is new Pet Simulator X is pretty good. There's some good stuff. You also have gems. Gems are new currency, and you can buy them with Robux or get them via grinding. Yeah, that's right. I kind of like Simulator games, although Simulator games can be grindy and they're kind of annoying, but there are some gems like, like Bee Swarm, which I played a lot. I played a lot. And other good simulator games. You know, ones that don't force you to grind for at least an entire 100 years. However, the, the stuff the player gets through playing the game normally without spending Robux is pretty good. There are upgrade stations. You can fuse pets. You can make rainbow and golden pets. Golden pets makes no sense because you can just get them for golden eggs. There are also upgrades, and the upgrades are pretty good, and what the player gets for upgrades is kinda decent. Upgrades. Player speed, more storage, pet strength, more diamonds, pet speed, orb reach. The more diamonds is pretty damn expensive, but it's worth it if you wanna, you know, grind off some more. Now, Pet Simulator X is pretty good. The game has ranks you can go to. And the ranks are pretty good. Now, a bunch of my friends have played this game, and even my friend Tech, yeah, my boy Tech, the person who works on Kitty, even plays this game. So, yay. Yeah, my friends are playing this, you know. The game had some teasers, there was a live countdown. And when the game launched on July 29th, people immediately went to it, and well, the game shows it has pretty good likes to dislike ratio. Lots of people liking the game and very few dislikes. I guess, I bet those dislikes are from people that don't like it that this is a simulator, which I can kind of get. Because people are tired of the, uh, the simulator thing that, well, Roblox, yeah, Roblox games... Roblox game developers have been doing for so long that it's just becoming an oversaturated section and clogged up various Roblox YouTube channels. But hey, if it's worth the try, you shouldn't complain. 
The Dark Pet Simulator X is pretty good. It's probably the greatest simulator game of recent time. Beast Swarm is still good. It's the Beast Swarm Simulator is still one of my still one of my favorite simulator games, despite how there hasn't been any updates for Beast Swarm. Hey, it's still pretty good. And well, Pet Swarm Pet Simulator X seems to be laying off some new groundwork. And groundworks are pretty good with the stuff it's introduced in. We already got some new updates, kind of. We got a new world, which is pretty good. And this is the normal world. The spawn world is pretty good. The volcano area has a big chest that it takes like two hours to break. If you have Dominus pets. But previously, this gate barely had much. But now, bam. The Fancy World. Fancy World is pretty good. Fancy World adds, well, at the moment, Fancy World has 6 new eggs, 24 new pets, which is insane. I mean, seriously, that's incredible. And also, we have 3 new areas to explore. The new world is pretty good. A new place called Enchantment. If this is like Minecraft, then I'm gonna have... It is like Minecraft. Uh, I'm guessing these books are start. So these books are gonna start speaking the Minecraft enchanting table language. This world's pretty good, despite the fact that when you start, it takes an insufferable amount of time to grind. I mean, seriously, look at this. All these steps take a long time to just break. That's another half of it, buddy. Upon breaking this game, which is around like 50,000 maybe, I don't know, you get access to portals. Now I have the Ancient Island and Samurai Island, but you can kind of see where the groundwork is starting to go up. We have four more portals coming, and I'm hoping we get another, I'm hoping we get another new world sometime later. Four portals. Now, now I'm not sure where... When these portals will open up and what worlds, what areas will be introduced, but I'm kind of excited to see. I mean, the devs have, the devs have kind, big games have kind of teased the next new world. The next world will be the candy world, which will be right here. But hey, hey, it's pretty good. Hint: you can get insane daily rewards just by having a high rank. So yeah. And well, this game's pretty good. I'll show the ancient island. Here's the ancient island. We got another big treasure chest, just like the volcano area. So this one takes way longer to destroy, and already somebody's going ham. Somebody's already going ham. The ancient island. I guess we're having different islands. Next, it's the samurai island. So I'm gonna show. This is the samurai island. Pretty neat. So this is as this is what beast swarm. I mean, sorry, sorry, I kind of get confused. But this is what Pet Simulator X has as of now. We're getting the Candy World update, and I'll probably make a video discussing that update. But yeah, this is my review. And um, I have a bunch of friends playing this, so cool. Although some of my friends have kind of stopped. I don't know why. This is much better. Hey, thanks for watching. Me. Yeah, I want to mention I have a Twitter account. Don't follow me on Twitter. I'll probably... I'll try to make use of Twitter. I don't know. My Twitter account? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. Uh, barely did much on that Twitter account besides making one post now and then. Comment on people's Twitter accounts. But, yeah. And also, yes, I'm 14. And I am a bunch of people.
Twitter account. Twitter says you need to be at least 13 years old to have a Twitter account, and, well, I'm past the age of 13. Someone wants to offer trade. You know what? Here. I'm just gonna be generous. Anyways, this is Pet Simulator X. Go follow my Twitter and uh, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, probably do more videos. I haven't, I haven't posted it in a week, but I was just wondering what to do. Hey, this is what I did. Nope, nope. Yeah, this is Pet Simmerix. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you folks next time. If this game can keep a hold of itself, then yeah, you got places. And one of my friends said to join in. Gameplay here. Whoa. And you poop. Oh, yes. This is, this is the gameplay. Oh, yeah. I was on YouTube for we got. Uh, oh, we're just doing some running. Got some good pets of samurai guys, but not a whole lot. in a week. Oh yeah, I'm 
also gonna go, uh, oh yeah, later today, I'm also, later today, I'm gonna just, so, uh, guys, also, I'm gonna go, uh, see, uh, Space Jam, a new, the new Space Jam film at a local theater, so, yeah, I'll probably make a post on Twitter, Friend Sus has joined. Oh dear God! It won't take us some time with all the pets combined. This won't we probably take us like a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this big trigger says this is a pretty good if you want to grind. about it for today folks. Thanks for watching. you guys for watching and well I'll see you folks next time and um uh, don't worry I'll post I'll make a post when I'm I'll post on Twitter of me at the theater right to see a, the new Space Jam film but the uh, giraffe met me Giraffe has reached champion. Yeah, thanks. Thanks to you guys for watching, and I guess this is my pay up. This is my pay up for not posting in a week. But hey, this is what I have to do. Next time we'll play Plants vs. Zombies 2, I promise. I've been holding off PvZ 2 for a while, but tomorrow we'll play Plants vs. Zombies 2 and we'll play Neon Mixtape Tour and we'll complete up that because I've, well, I've not been doing very good on PvZ 2 and uh, well, 
Seven, baby. But thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time in my next video. I have a Twitter account, so check that out. And I'll be trying to make use of Twitter. I'll probably be posting more on Twitter. And make sure to keep up that. I'll be seeing the new Space Jam film. And I'll be having a nice time at a movie theater. So, enjoy time. I'll probably do more variety now. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm close to finishing up my master rank. And I'll probably move on to a new rank. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. And, well, okay. Okay, bye.